Hi, I'm Harvey Ferris. We're here today at the New Hill Garage. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't be with you all at uh, Avery's uh, presentation, but I uh, did want to, uh, to film this episode about uh, polishing of aluminum and for everybody to uh, find out a little bit about why that can be uh, fairly costly to get a high luster on aluminum. Um, the aluminum parts in the XKE engine are the um, valve covers and uh, the domes on the SU carburetors and uh, folks do like to uh, polish those to a high luster and it, it can be done but let's look at the steps. The uh, aluminum parts were originally cast as molten aluminum into sand and uh, a, a rough a sand casting itself is pretty rough and it certainly doesn't have a shiny appearance. Uh, this is the back side and you can see some of the casting features um, on the front side, we will show what it takes to get a fairly good polish on this. At this end, uh, this end, uh, I bought this valve cover from Coventry West, Dick Morey, and he had it bead blasted. Now, bead blasting is a process that we do in the sand blast cabinet, but we use glass beads. They're a little more uniform, and they give you a better appearance. Bead blasting, walnut shells, soda, all those processes are good for cleaning parts up, but they will not give you a good shine. This end is bead, as bead blasted. Now for the rest of the uh, part, we'll go through putting a polish on it. Now aluminum doesn't corrode, but it does um, react with the air and it oxidizes. And the oxidation on the face of the aluminum uh, will give it a gray appearance. What I did on this part was I uh, sanded it with gradually uh, finer grits of sandpaper. Now sandpaper is graded in numbers. Uh, here I have a 320, which I started with, uh, a 400, I have an 800, a 1000, and a 1500. Um, sandpapers are being made in very fine grits these days, and uh, they are um, the bigger the number, the finer the grit. What you want to do is start out with a fairly low number. I start out with 320. This area right through here was sanded with 320. I actually did the entire length with 320. This area right here was sanded with the 400. This area here, I sanded the entire length with 400. This area here was sanded with, with 800. I sanded the entire length from here with 800. And this area in the middle was sanded with 1500, and I sanded the entire length with 1500. Um, you cannot probably get a shiny finish that's really desirable just with sandpaper, although they do have now, I understand, some sandpapers up to 3000 grit. Kelly, if you'll turn the movie off, we're going to move over to the buffing wheel.